Hi, welcome back to the Ascent of Mount Carmel YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss chapter 3 of the first book. I'm battling sounds of cicadas in the background and I'm hopeful that the background noise won't be too much. Today, in this chapter, we're discussing two main topics. The first is St. John's choice of metaphor, of comparing the first part of the night to darkness. Alone in the dark. St. John chooses darkness as his metaphor for night because when a soul chooses to deprive itself of taking pleasure in things of the senses, of the sight, of the sound, of touch, it remains unoccupied and therefore it is in darkness. Anything can happen when you're alone in the dark. It does not mean that it will not experience a light from another source, meaning a divine source, but from natural causes, it remains in the dark. Number two, St. John of the Cross points out in the Psalms that King David refers to himself as being a poor man from birth. And of course, King David was king. He was not poor at all. Now in the New American Bible, it is translated to being mortally afflicted. But St. John uses this verse as a point of King David saying that he may as well have been poor because riches were not important to him. He had greater goals for the kingdom of Israel, the kingdom of God. So he may as well have been poor because he didn't have a desire for those riches. St. John could have also cited St. Paul's letter to Timothy where St. Paul cited that it's the desire of money that is the root of all evils. It is not the possession of money itself that is the problem. It's the desire or love of money. Desire. Not just of money, but for all physical comforts here on earth, going back to the sight, the sounds, the pleasures from touch. So the most important thing from this chapter is to understand that it's not the lack of comforts. It's purging yourself of the desire for those things. And in future chapters, we'll discuss why this is important. Well, I hope you enjoyed this installment. If you liked it, please subscribe. And if you liked it, please tell a friend. And then that friend will tell two friends. And that friend will tell two friends. And so on. And so on. And so on. Well, I hope you enjoyed this installment. Please pray for the church. We'll be back again next week.